Welcome back to Iceberg Airplanes. Why will some airlines go bankrupt? On March 2020, the world's airlines experienced revenue falling off a cliff. Airlines in the US and in Europe experienced net negative bookings, and airlines in the East suspended almost all or all operations. And while huge airlines have taken precautionary measures, like Delta Airlines, which have grounded over 600 aircraft, Some airlines, especially new ones, are on the verge of going bankrupt. Most small airlines are in a very fragile financial situation. They might have a large debt or they might not be making enough revenue. We have seen Flyb Airlines collapse in early March. And more and more airlines are in a difficult financial situation. The reason COVID 19 might make airlines go bankrupt is because when airlines are having net negative booking, which means they are having more cancellations than booking, they are barely making revenue, let alone profit. Which means when they fly flights, they're losing money. Operating a flight has a lot of costs. First, you will have to hire pilots and flight attendants, which, as you probably know, costs money. Then, you will have to pay the ground crew for preparing your plane. Then you will have to pay for takeoff fees and landing slots. And most importantly, you will need to order fuel. All of these come at a cost, but in a normal flight, passengers paying money should be more than all of these costs combined. This means that the airline is making a profit, but when there are net negative bookings, the airline is not making any profit. Not only this, but they are also making very little revenue. So, this means that they have to spend money made from other flights just to pay these flights. In huge airlines, they have so much money that they can pay these costs for a while, but small airlines may spend all of their money trying to pay for these costs and become bankrupt. Airlines usually make money from flights, but then they have to blow it all when they are losing money. So, many airlines' solution is to ground aircraft and cut flights, but even this may not be enough. For example, United Airlines grounded aircraft and cut flights. This was meant to put the people that were traveling on one plane, which lowers costs. But even the planes that were flying had an average load factor of only 20 to 30 percent. This is very bad for the airline. Another problem for airlines are travel bans. Travel bans restrict people from traveling to places, so any route which has either the starting or ending countries that have put a travel ban must be canceled. This is very bad for the airline because if a route is part of a travel ban, it must be suspended immediately. This means that if one of their popular routes is suspended, then the airline won't have enough money to supplement the routes that are currently losing them money. We have mostly talked about small airlines in this video, but travel bans can pose a significant threat to big airlines too. Big airlines like Lufthansa, British Airways, Delta, American Airlines, United, Air China, China Southern, Singapore Airlines, Qantas, ANA, and many more fly large aircraft for most long flights. This means that travel bans are even more costly to the airline because they are suspending their big aircraft, which usually make a lot of money. Because of this, all of the world's airlines, especially the small ones, are unfortunately heavily affected by COVID 19. Have you been ever affected by an airline going bankrupt? Comment below and stay safe.